Banking and financial institutions face high levels of scrutiny and supervision through regulatory reporting, which have intensified since the 2008 financial crash. Profiler is a data-centric transformation company advocating for greater accuracy, integrity and trust in this process. Its pioneering concept, Information Genetics, seeks to achieve a gold standard of data management to gain consumer confidence and mitigate future economic crises. The Bank of England. Its vaults hold around 400,000 bars of gold, making it the second largest keeper of gold in the world. The bank has a big responsibility to keep the country economically secure. One of the main jobs here at the Bank of England is to regulate the banks and financial firms to make sure everything is safe and sound. So if there is any type of financial turmoil, everything doesn't fall apart. The global financial crisis in 2008 shook the world. Banking regulations were tightened to stop it happening again. But there's a growing risk, the rapid emergence of AI and machine learning in supporting important financial decisions. AI and machine learning is an opportunity, allowing deeper insights. But if the data being used isn't right, it poses a real threat. It's an issue that concerns James Benford from the Bank of England. It also needs to be the right data and, and then this is a moving uh, target because the financial system itself is changing and the risk that um, the system faces is, 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 is changing. This event in the heart of London has brought together those regulating and those being regulated. The topic? Sourced data. That's one of the challenges that a lot of the, the banks have faced is lots of data from a disparate variety of sources and just trying to bring it together make sure it's correct and then report it correctly is, um, is, a, is a, a, a big responsibility. The event has been organised by the company Profiler, a transformation and technology team focusing on building sustainable solutions in these fast-moving times, putting people and data at the heart of future change. They've created software that houses the source of information used to make decisions. It's called Information Genetics. Asha Sangre is the CEO of Profiler. As soon as you take information genetics and start to tag your data and connect it all the way through to all these beautiful algorithms that we're using to control the way we operate, you are then in control. And you, at the switch of a button, will be able to identify exactly what data was used to make a specific decision. Profiler is uniquely looking at this problem. There are a lot of technology companies out there that are currently building reporting solutions. And reporting solutions are important but you have to know what's going into the reporting solution. Francesca Hampton is Chief Financial Officer at one of the UK's leading wealth management companies and is championing the adoption of this software. What we really need is to be able to track all of our interpretations all the way back to our data source and be able to prove to the regulators that we are in accordance with the rule book. But that will also give them the information in a way that they fully understand it so that they don't need to think about certain aspects of it because they don't need to worry about that. And then they'll see thematics coming through about things they really should be worried about. We're interested in the science behind data, and we're interested in making sure that the data that we collect in banking is used for good. And we do that for the consumer, and we do it for the regulators, because it's incredibly important that when we collect all this information, that we're using it correctly. It costs the UK banking industry between two and £4.5 billion pounds a year to do regulatory reporting. I think there would be definitely a benefit to, to delving a bit deeper and seeing, OK, how are, how are people actually filling these things in? Is it, is it in a consistent way? And then going back to that conversation on, on data standards, do we need a new standard in this area? I think it's only by seeing um, you know, what's actually going on underneath the bonnet and how um, the data is coming into the forms can you spot, actually, we need a new standard here. Having the right data impacts all of us. If the data isn't right, big decisions on the economy may be wrong. AI technology is moving faster than we've ever seen it move. and We need to make sure we understand and we put the foundations in place to understand the data we're using. And that's the risk. The risk is that we walk into another 2008 driven by new technology.